So when you first got there, I was scared for you. But were you ever scared and how did you overcome it? Was I ever scared? No, scared is the wrong word to use. I have a respect for the, these things. You know, your whole life I've flown high performance aircraft, deployed on ships, and those all have dangers, uh, risks associated with them, you know? So it makes me want to work very hard because I want to come back home to you all. And so I would say I have a, a respect for the things that I do and the risks that come with that. The thing that I had the most discomfort or the biggest emotional response to was leaving you all. And specifically like the being at, at launch, but being four miles away from you on top of a million and a half pounds of high explosives and knowing you're there watching and I'm not right there with you to, to, to make you more comfortable and talk you through it. So I was very grateful to our friends who helped and were there with you all to support us through those things. But I'd say that was my biggest discomfort was if I could have managed to be in two places at once, I would have loved to have done those things, but also been the person there with you, you know, helping guide you through it or to be there supporting you through it. You said, you know, you had fears when I left. And, and so, yeah, what talk, tell me about some of those. You told us about a launching of a different aircraft like three years ago, four years ago maybe, and we watched it and it was it was an old, old video and it exploded. Like they didn't make it, the people, there were people on it. And that terrified me, so I hated your job from then on. But I learned that people train you for this stuff and they're there to make sure that doesn't happen. So it made me feel a lot better. But you know, there's always the what if and it can happen still. And so I was very, it was like, a, if you took my toy, you'd be like, why? Don't take my toy, it's mine. It's mean of you. And it's kind of what you feel like you were my toy. And it's, it's just like, it made me, no, don't leave, don't take it. So. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because the, the last time I deployed was when we lived in Japan. And that was in 2012, so that's almost 10 years ago. And so you were really small. You were really small. And uh, I don't know if you remember what, what life was like. Your older sisters might remember more, and you might have, you know, images and the smells, but like, you know, the talks your mom and I had and the preparation and what that felt like. You know, this may be the first one that you really remember, even though I've done it, you know, five times before this. And so that was important. Your mom and I talked a lot about that, what, what this was gonna be like. And that's why it was really important to me to be able to talk to you guys all the time, but also didn't want it to be boring. I didn't want you guys to be like, oh, dad's calling again. So, you know, just, I just wanted us to be there for each other. And I think that I was, I was very happy with how that worked out. You know, I could call you guys almost any time of the day, every day. What did you think about our video conference? You know, you remember what we did for most of them? Yeah. What? Uh, charades. Yeah, right? that was, I think, I don't know if it was your mom's idea or one of you guys it was came out. We played games and it just, that time, at first it flew by, they were never long enough. But I never felt like I had to go, come on guys, I, uh, dad's calling from space. Because at some point, right, even, it's still neat that dad's calling from space, but like after 167 days, dad's calling from space, you know? I don't think it was ever like that. <laughs> it like, like major, oh, I don't wanna go. Because, because you made a great impression the first time we played when you did Escalator. That was my high point. But, my charades Escalator was... Because you could just float Weightlessness, down. right? I mean, you know, it was good. <laughs> it was fun. We got it right away. <laughs> so. so, yeah, we had fun playing charades. Uh, yeah, that was good. Subscribe for more space.